return from the War of the Sword, Freyr was greeted with celebration and appointed king at the base of the mountain. He took his place on the throne and reigned from the stone hall of many pillars. The doors were thrown open and trade was established with men. On Queen Asher's death, a tomb was built in Ephira in her honor and to protect her from further evil. The mines have been sacked by an Orkish army. The dwarves seem to have retreated before their arrival. The old story. El Halaf is the principal fortress of the Knights of the Armina region. For generations, their dukes have kept the peace and ensured free passage through the district. Lord Kerman, paladin of the order, governs the garrison with an iron fist, holding off an ever-increasing threat from the north. Ah! <laughs> 
betrayed. The orcs fell on us during the night. My lord the duke, my life ebbs away. My lord the duke has been taken prisoner. Rescue him, please. He is our one and only hope. Take this key to aid your escape and read in this parchment the final orders of my master. How the Prince of Darkness began to manipulate the primordial chaos to create a new being, and how, before it could be dominated, the being came to life and became independent of its creator, and how the Lord of Chaos was between the gods. Decisive. It seems that his aim was not to conquer the In Ephira, the mad King Azud ordered his dwarven artisans to build a temple guarding the tomb of his wife, the great Queen Asha, and all her secrets. A few years later, when he died, he was buried in a chapel near the temple. After that, several kings of the Ishabad were buried there. The temple and the tombs were abandoned many years ago, and since then they have become famed as a place of peril. They say that many tomb robbers and other adventurers have disappeared there, giving it the reputation of an accursed spot. All the actions of the enemy seem to suggest a search for some particular object or information which they didn't find in Tel Halaf or Kelbagan. Their next target will probably be Ephedra. <coughs> 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 Ah! <laughs> 
Conjure you, ancient serpent, by the judge of the living and the dead, by that which has the power to send you to the icy hell of Valeskaif. Ha! 
The king alone holds the key that will lead to the heart of his beloved. Are you perchance the king, or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows?
severs and pierces all things. I am he who revisits death upon the living dead. The king and queen have not yet been desecrated. They contain... <laughs> Among the mountains of Zagros lies the lake of Karun, and in the middle of the lake there is an isle. In ancient times, a tower was built on the isle, creating a guarded pass between the mountains which separates the ancient realms from the deserts to the north. For centuries, the tower of the Isle of Karun was a bastion for the knights in the inhospitable and perilous lands of Zagra. Finally, it was lost. The knights abandoned the fortress, and so the path to commerce was closed. Knowledge of it faded from the lives of men. A map Although besmirched by the moat, clearly shows the path between the mountains which leads to the lake. Ah! <laughs> 